Well, good evening. As you can see by the light, it is very late. Look what time it is. It is late. The last of my house guests have left. I'm trying to fix the lights. There, there, that's better. Let me see. I'll get a little bit more. A little bit more. Lights, camera, action. <laughs> anyway, we have birthdays today. Okay, and I'm confused because I don't know that she still watches my channel, but the name of her channel is Live Fuller, Love Fuller. But I noticed that it's... I got it under tomorrow, too. So today I'm going to call you Liv. <laughs> tomorrow I'm going to call you Lovey. <laughs> so happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Liv. Happy birthday to you. Cha-cha-cha. Let me know in the comments below whether your birthday is today or tomorrow. But you're getting another song tomorrow if it's really truly your birthday tomorrow. But it's also Peggy over at Color Me Influenced. Peggy, I know you were hinting, hinting. I saw it on your video when you kept saying, my video, my birthday's coming up, my birthday's coming up. I already had you in the book. Yeah, you're already in my calendar, Peggy. Don't try, don't try to avoid me. I got you. I got your number, lady. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Peggy. Happy birthday to you. Cha-cha-cha. It's also Warren, who is Rita Boldyard, B-O-L-Y-A-R. Warren is her grandson. I hope I got that one right, because we remember a couple days ago, I got the grandma things mixed up. But I think Warren is your grandson. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Warren. Happy birthday to you. Cha-cha-cha. It's also Garrett, who is Sue Slims Down's son. So Garrett, he doesn't watch my channel, but Sue does. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Garrett. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. It's also Terry Evans' birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Terry. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. And last but not least is Carol Schlocky. Schlocky. She sent me some pronunciation and I'm still screwing it up. S C H W A L K E. Schwacky. Carol, it's your birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Carol. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. Well, I hope all one, two, three, four, five, maybe six of you have a birthday celebration today that you really enjoy. Um, I did, I'm not going to do a topic of the day today because I'm just tired. I'm really tired. Once again, I wanted to thank everybody for being so concerned that I was sick yesterday. I was not sick. I just was feeling. We all have those days. You know, I wasn't sick. I just felt like... <sighs> I just, you know, I, I just was having one of those days. I don't know why. Nothing was going wrong with my day. I was having a perfectly good day. Um, I think part of the reason was, one of the reasons I think is my day. I was just like, oh my gosh, I told you I had to get a new toaster. I didn't have to get a new toaster. I got a new toaster, and it was more than I thought. It was $50, the one I liked. So I bought the $50 toaster, and and I got home, and I'm thinking, $50. It's, you know, we just spent $1,500 for a refrigerator, and now I just had to pay $50 for a toaster. What else can go wrong? And then Jim come home, and he went to have a glass of milk, and it came out in chunks. The refrigerator died. <sighs> It was like, oh my gosh. Oh my I mean, we were getting a new refrigerator anyhow, but I was hoping it would hold out a couple days. I was hoping it would hold out at least until tonight, you know, when I cuz I knew I had company come for big our big uh Samantha's birthday dinner. I had oh, I had started moving some of the stuff into the refrigerator in the garage. Well, obviously, now I have now I'm throwing stuff away in the refrigerator that kind of went bad. And it was like, oh my gosh. And so I was just you know, everything was getting, and I was like, oh my gosh, I was just, I was just annoyed. I was, I was, I was just not feeling it yesterday. And I thought, oh, I can't be chipper and pretend, I can't pretend to be happy when, well, not that I wasn't happy. Well, I wasn't happy. My refrigerator died too. See, the freezer said, psst, psst, psst. You know, I've already checked out. What are you hanging around for? Let's get going. And so the refrigerator went, I didn't know you checked out. You didn't let me know. Okay, let me join you. And then the refrigerator left too. So I was left with this big old giant hideous box taunting me, telling me, we're not working, we're not working, we're not working. <laughs> it was just, ah. and, I, and I just thought, uh, you know, no, I'm just going to sit back here and read my book. Uh, Jim and I went, uh, and then we got a really bad storm. 
it was like a scary storm. Uh, we didn't lose power, much to Jim's chagrin, <laughs> but uh, with the, it flickered. We flickered a couple times. But uh, the tree that's in front of my house where my birds feed off of, um, Jim wants to cut that tree down. And I said, over my dead body. And he says, well, if that's what it's going to take. <laughs> anyway, um, the tree was bending and then springing back up. And then bending and then springing back up. And I honest to goodness thought it was going to come through the window. I really did. And then the tree that's out by the street was like really, really going crazy. Um, we're living in a little block. They must have fixed our thing since we got our generator. All of our neighbors, we tell them, thank us very much that we wouldn't spend all this money on a generator so that you can still have your power because all the houses behind us and across the street, not across the street, but behind across the street, like our whole subdivision, my subdivision's kind of weird. There's like two ways to get into it. And then there's like a lot of jingle jangle streets, if you know what I mean, like a normal subdivision is, I guess. I don't know if you don't know. It's just like weird. It's like you can get caught. You can get caught in a subdivision and go, how do I get out of here? How do I get out? And then you put your, you know, your Google Maps on and it'll go, turn right, turn left, turn right. Oh, start again. <laughs> Recalibrating. It's just, but, but once you get to know the subdivision, but anyway, um, but our little core, like we're the nucleus of the subdivision and uh, we didn't lose power, other than it was flickering a little bit, but oh my gosh, all the damage around us. So I went to go to Kroger's this morning to get my stuff for the dinner tonight, and I went to the first street to turn right, and it was closed, and then I went to the next street, and then that was closed. So I thought, oh, I turned around, came back, went the other way. No, that was closed. And so then I had to go way back. I couldn't get out of my subdivision. I couldn't get, well, I got out of my subdivision. I couldn't get out of the base of the subdivision. It took me forever, and then I got out, and it was because uh, power lines had come down, and they were there was a lot of houses in yellow caution tape that the people had to get out of their houses because the they had to wait till the DTE came, which is our electric company, um, to uh, you know turn the power off so that they could get out of their house, and then they had to evacuate while the they worked on the lines and stuff. So it was a lot of damage, a lot of damage. So I, I mean, I do like a good storm as long as there's no damage. But thankfully, we didn't have damage, but there was a lot of no lives were lost. There was never a tornado. Uh, they said it was like a wind shear. But uh, anyway, so and then I got home and I forgot the key ingredient for my baked beans. And I had to drive back there to get the one stinking little jar of molasses. Because I put molasses in my baked beans. I know I could have went without it. But, you know, no. It's part of the recipe. And it's not a lot. I think it's like a quarter cup. But, I mean, it's 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 an important quarter cup. So... For the love of my family, I went out again. And so then I was cleaning everything, uh, cleaning my house. I don't know why. Why do you clean for company? They're just going to make it dirty, and then you're going to have to clean when they leave. But anyway, I cleaned my house. And then they said they were going to come between 12 and 4. And they came at 2. And um, they, I had the nicest guys. They were so nice. It was It was two brothers. They were older. They were like in their 50s. And I said, oh, my gosh, how do you do this? You know, I'm not that you're old. I says, but oh, my gosh. And I said, you know, my grandson is like 20, and he can like zip, zip, zip. And then his dad is in his 50s, and he's like, oh, I'm dragging behind him. And he says, no, no, it, it is a bit much. So he went to move the one chair, Jim's chair, which is a motorized recliner. And uh, so he went to do it, and his brother, one brother says, well, what are you doing? He says, I'm going to move the chair. And he goes, well, let's use the... Uh, the dolly. He goes, I'm not going to use the dolly to move a chair. And he says, go to it. <laughs> he couldn't move the chair. The chair is heavier than hell. I mean, it's it's a heavy chair. And so then he said, why is it so heavy? He says, because it's a motorized chair. It's got a motor in the chair. That's what's so heavy. He says, well, maybe we ought to use the the uh, dolly. Oh, duh. <laughs> you think so? So then when he was measuring, he says, oh, he says, I'm sorry. He said, I, I don't think your refrigerator is going to fit. I think it's too big. I go, no, it's, I know it's a big refrigerator, but it's going to fit. And he says, well, I don't know. I don't want to, he says, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't want to drag it all the way in here to find out I got to drag it back out because it's too big. And I said, well, my husband measured for a living. He was a sprinkler fitter and he had to cut pipe. And it was like, you know, you measure twice and you cut once. So he's that kind of a measurer and he measured and, and everything. And this is the refrigerator he wanted. And this is the one we're going to get. And trust me, he says it's going to fit. It's going to fit. He said, well, I'll trust you then. He says, but we're going to have to take the door off. So they had to take my front door off plus my front screen door off. 
to get the, the refrigerator in. And you know what? It fit. It fit perfectly. And he says, you know what? Your husband was right. He says, I really didn't think it would work. But then there was like a little dimple in the freezer door. It's about that big. And you can hardly see it. And I usually have a towel hanging on the rack on that uh, the handle. So you wouldn't see it anyhow because the towel would be blocking it. And he says, well, these are your options. He says, I can take it back to the truck and bring your other one back in. And I go, well, the other one don't work, so there's no point in that. He says, but we, you can keep this one or we can order you a new one. And then when they come, you'll just have to take all the stuff out and then just transfer it into the new refrigerator. And I don't really want to do that. And he says, or we can order you a whole new door. And they'll just come in and they'll just put the new freezer door in. And I says, well, I guess I could do that. And he says, or I can call them and tell them there's a dent in it and they'll offer you some money. And I said, well, okay. He says, you know, because really, you can't really see it. And you really couldn't see it. I'll show you tomorrow. I'll show you my refrigerator tomorrow. Um, you really can't see it. You really, it's very tiny. He says, so this is what you do. He says, when you call, they're going to offer you $100. And what you're going to say is, is that the best you can do? He says, and then they're going to give you $200. I said, really? He says, trust me. He says, it's sad that, you know, you have to be dishonest. He says, because it's kind of dishonest. But as long as you know. And I said, well, $200. I don't know. So I thought, well, I'm going to test this theory out. Because I worked in customer service, and I know that sometimes, they, you know, they give you more above and beyond. You know, they, gotta, they have a little fund for that. It's not like they're going to lose money or go out of business. So he did. He offered me $100. And I said, oh. You think you could go a little bit higher than that? He says, well, let me look and see. And it comes back. He says, well, the most I can offer you is $200. I said, well, take it. So they're going to send me a check for $200 in two weeks. So another check, a debit card for $200. So I said, oh, okay. So I showed Jim a little dimple, and he said, well, I don't want to go to all that trouble. I said, well, they're going to give us $200. He's well, all the better. So now the refrigerator only costs us $1,300. Kind of paid for the toaster. Anyway, see you. I told you, we take little side roads once in a while, take little side trips. Hopefully you had your seatbelt on because we did take a really big side trip on that one. So I went and bought the new toaster when I was feeling kind of blah yesterday. And uh, today when I went to make the cake mixes, um, the cake for the, we had strawberry, she wanted strawberry shortcake. So I made a strawberry cake that we used as the shortcake part. And then we put the strawberries over the top with a little bit of Cool Whip. But um the mixer wouldn't work. And I thought, oh, <laughs> I got to buy a new mixer now? I'm thinking, oh, my, it's just a hand mixer. And they're only like 10 bucks, I know, maybe 20. But I thought, I am done spending money. And then I think, oh, you just got, you know. I, that was before I got my money. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, this is just ridiculous. So then I'm like testing the plugs and none of the plugs are working. And then I go over to the plug over by the stove because the stove is working because it's got a light, you know, like it's got a light on it and it's got the clock. And my mixer worked there. So, so I'm thinking... There was a circuit blown on the wall. I didn't have to get a new toaster. I already threw the toaster away because yesterday was trash day because I could have brought this toaster back because we hadn't used it yet. And all it was was the, the circuit breaker tripped. <laughs> $50 for a circuit breaker trip. <sighs> Any loser. So, I was going to make this a short video. Look, it's already at 13 minutes. I'm not going to do a topic of the day, but tomorrow I want to thank Mary Vitro because she has come up with a topic for the day. I'm not going to, I'm not going to give you any kind of a clue or a hint what it is. Um, tune in tomorrow and see what Mary suggested because it's a very good topic. I didn't, I didn't have to bring Alyssa to school today because um, no power <laughs> in the school. So Cindy texted me like at 7 o'clock and said that, you know, Alyssa doesn't have school because there's no power. Shut the alarm off, rolled over, and slept until 9.30. <laughs> it was a good way to start the day. But anyway, but thank you once again. Like I said, I wasn't sick yesterday. I just wasn't feeling it. I was just kind of annoyed with everything. And it was just like, eh, you know, that's the way it goes, I guess. But And then I realized that I thought my first question was kind of self aware of uh, like I thought on my tag, when I said, when you were growing up, other than your family, did someone other, did someone, how did I put that? When you were growing up, did someone other than your family or a relative, no, how, no, I forget how it was. Did someone other than a relative, no, did someone, either a relative or someone not in your family live with you? Well, I thought it was kind of obvious that your family was with you. I kind of thought that, 
that, you know, like you'd have your mom and your dad and your brothers and your sisters. I thought I made it clear like a grandparent or an aunt or an uncle or a cousin or a friend of the family or something like that. But I, can't, I must have screwed up. I must have screwed up. And Jerry, Jerry Weeks, I love it. <laughs> he made fun of me <laughs> in a nice way. And I, I props, took my hat to you. I took my hat to you, Jerry, because uh, I, when I screwed up about the uh, collab the other day, at the very beginning of the video, if you pay close attention, you see him making a little bit of a tiny little joke about the fact that the, the collab was coming up on the 16th and it wasn't on the 9th. And even Terry even said, oh, Miss Sandy, kind of gave it away. But Jerry, you're my kind of guy. You're my kind of guy. I loved it. I laughed so hard. I even did a repeat on it. I backed it up so I could say, did he really say that? Did he really needle me? And he did. And I loved it. I loved it. <sighs> and then when I was watching uh, Wendy, Wendy's WW Adventures, Sean is so much like me. She had to keep telling him, edit button, edit button, edit button. Denise tells me that all the time. Edit, edit, edit. <laughs> okay. Let me show you. We had a very heavy carb dinner, a heavy carb dinner, but it was all everybody's favorites, not so much Samantha. Samantha's gluten. She can't eat anything with gluten. So I think it was just a revenge dinner. <laughs> That's what my family does. This is what we do. We had everything that she can't have. So we had, Christy made macaroni and cheese. Uh, that's Aaron's family recipe. Um, so she made mac and cheese. I made cheesy potatoes. And then I had baked beans. And then Denise made spinach dip. And then we had a salad. And we had potato chips because some people don't like the cheesy potatoes. And we had deviled eggs. What else did we have? We had watermelon. I know we had something else. And then we had rolls. And Samantha had a salad. Oh, we had chicken. I forgot the main protein. We had, uh, Jimmy went out in the rain, stood out in the rain and barbecued the chicken. But so she had a piece of chicken and she had a salad with some watermelon. And we we're all challenged. <laughs> That's all I had all day. I had a, I had a, probably a quarter cup of Denny Christie's uh, potatoes, no, um, macaroni and cheese. I probably had a half a cup of the cheesy potatoes. I probably had a quarter cup of the beans. And then I had a deviled egg, and I had a little bit, maybe two tablespoons of the spinach dip, and I had drank water with my meal. And then for dessert, I had a piece of the strawberry cake with some um, strawberries on top and uh, a little bit of a ready whip on top of that. But that's all I ate all day because I was so busy all day. I, You know, like when people say, oh, I hate when they say I forgot to eat. I just didn't have time to eat. I was so busy. I was just too busy. Oh, that was another thing. Last thing, promise, last thing, was when the guy was leaving, I, he was such a nice guy. And he says, oh, my gosh, you're having a party. And I said, well, yeah, we're going to have like 25 people. And he says, well, I can see. And then he's counting. He says, well, there's 12 at this table, and then there's 10 at the other table. And I go, yeah, it's 22 people. I said, but we're going to have three people because I'm sending three dishes home. And then I think my grandson's probably going to end up sitting on the couch. So it was 26 people are going to be eating. And uh, he says, well, that seems like a good party. And then he says, you got a lot of desserts because I didn't realize that Christy, Christy made a strawberry cheesecake. I had the, made the strawberry cake with the strawberries and the Ready Whip, but I always make brownies because the kids like brownies, and so I made some brownies. I had a pound cake because Jim likes pound cake, and my sister Mary loves pound cake. So I got a pound cake, and then we had some donuts. That Jim wanted some donuts, and he said whatever was left over he was going to bring to work tomorrow. So we had donuts, and so we had all these desserts all over the table, and I said, well, help yourself to a dessert, and he was like looking and looking and was trying to figure out what he wanted, and... Uh, I said, well, you know, go ahead. And he says, well, I can't decide what I want. And I said, well, obviously take something for your brother. He said, well, no, I don't want anything then. And I go, why? He says, well, the whole point of it is I wanted to go out and eat in front of him. <laughs> I said, you're my kind of guy. He says, no, I really don't need it. He says, I've had too much sugar lately. But he says, thank you for the offer. So anyway, that's going to do it. So let me show you a little bit of the party. And uh, we were also, I think we only sang one cha-cha-cha at the end. We were all just so carved up I guess <laughs> who knows so anyway um if you're new to my channel please subscribe leave a comment hit the like button share if they like if somebody might like to see it thank you for your wishes for me not feeling well yesterday although I was perfectly fine I was not the least bit sick
But thank you for your concern. So I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Hey, for dinner, yeah. uh, very heavy carb meal. We're fine. having. I have twenty-five people uh, today. The first time you said you got rolls. Christy made some mac and cheese. Oh, Danny. Oh, potatoes. Danny. I got a question. Potato, uh, beans, okay. corn, hey, watermelon, what salad, have, chips, and corn, <laughs> spinach dip, deviled eggs, and here they come. <laughs> Oh, look how, look how dedicated he was. He barbecued in the rain. In the rain. For his woman. He did the bad thing. Yeah. <laughs> hey, David. Here they come. Wait. Okay, let's go so we can say grace. Yeah, I'm going to take a couple of minutes and put his chair down. <laughs> <laughs> you know how you know you're getting old? The other day I had the electronic one, and I started putting it down, and I was going to slice on my knee, went pop, and I was ah! like, ah! Oh, I'm not even manually doing this. <laughs> Oh, if they ever get in here, right, Christy? Yeah. The kids are over oh, yeah. there. They got to eat last. So close. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's only two of them. I know. Yeah. <laughs> it's not my first time. Okay, oh, you made the lights go out. All right, are we ready? <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Samantha. Happy birthday to you. Cha-cha-cha. Yay! Oh, she did the whole crowd. <laughs>